Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt and I do like video games and in today's video we're here on Xbox Series X, not S, to test out Starfield's new update for 60 FPS on console. As I'm sure you're aware I make a lot of Series S videos here on the channel. I don't often do Series X videos and well, if Series S got a 60 FPS update for Starfield, I absolutely would do it. But unfortunately, it is only available on the Xbox Series X. And I gotta be honest with you, I'm interested. I'm interested. I'm intrigued. I've got a pretty good feeling I know exactly what it's gonna be like. But we're, we're gonna find out if my hunch is correct. But before we do that, we're gonna head into the display and, and you'll see that my text on this game is huge and that's because I play this often in my bedroom and my TV's on one side of the room and my bed's way on the opposite end of the room. So I have that text turned up. High. Plus I, I have terrible vision. So hey, bad eyesight gang. So I'm on a monitor that does not support VRR so without VRR, I have 60 and 30 FPS as my frame rate targets. I can also prioritize performance or visuals. You can prioritize visuals at 60 FPS. It's possible, like it'll, it'll let you do that. But honestly, you should probably be prioritizing performance at 60 FPS. Um, but if I had VRR, if I was playing it on my TV right here, then I'd be able to play it at 40 FPS as well, which I think would be a pretty solid option for this game. But let's get right into this. Uh, we're loading up right into Jemison, so I'm 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 fairly certain I know this is going to be rough. I would love to be surprised, but I got a pretty good feeling this is going to be pretty rough. And I don't mean that as in the patch is bad or anything. I just mean Jemison is is like a stress test for this game. It's like it stresses your components a lot uh so if this is a locked 60 i would be very surprised but you can see here we are prioritizing performance over visuals on 60 fps we are in jemison let's just go ahead and run around real quick a diplomatic visa? You got to be kidding. i'll say this it's smoother it's noticeably smoother it's definitely targeting 60 FPS. However, I will say, especially without VRR, I can feel it in this area. It's dropping below that target um, pretty often. I mean, if you played this game without the patch on Xbox, either Series S or X, and ran through this without VRR, it, it, it's about the same. Just now it's targeting a higher frame rate. Oh, that's right, they updated surface maps and everything, too. Very cool. Alright. Yeah, this area especially. Like, it's targeting 60 FPS, but it's definitely not hitting it in this area. Um, again, it's not bad. If you, Like I said, if you played it before, the way it was at 30, it's basically the same, but with a higher frame rate. Let me fast travel to my ship. Damn, I forgot I had this big ass ship. I just ha I just happened to find the ship too. Just happened to run into it. So like driving your ship around, that is 60 FPS. That's very smooth. Let's pick a place to land. Outside of Alpha Centauri. Where is, um, I think it's Cheyenne that has Aquila, right? Aquila, yes. Cheyenne. We're gonna go to Aquila. Because I also want to see what Aquila's like. I'm assuming it'll be much like Jemison. Uh, and it's much the same in this area that it was in Jemison. Like I said, uh, you, you can tell it's not hitting 60 FPS. It's still chugging along in, in the stress test areas. Ah, a couple of our runes. Ah, 
combat is way smoother. Although I am hitting... I'm hitting the right stick to crouch because I'm used to playing Fallout. So that's going to take a second to get used to. Take that. Yeah, like right here, the game is smooth. Super smooth. But like once you get into a big open area, it, 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 it'll hitch. It'll hitch. To be fair, that's what I expected. Thanks for taking a I, I received a message. I wasn't even trying to talk to you, Sarah. That was fucking creepy. Something like that. Before I join. I'm, there's somebody over here that's like threatening me right now. Yeah, okay. I was about to say, there's some. <laughs> like I was saying, it doesn't surprise me that the game still kind of struggles in big open areas. I think 30 FPS was like a very realistic target for this game. And those big open areas hitting 30 FPS isn't a problem. But uh, when you when you bump that target up to 60 FPS and you uncap that frame rate, you're hanging out. I mean, they said it before the game launched. The game can hit 60 FPS, but it's not often at 60 FPS. And that's just kind of what we're dealing with here. But it is nice that they patched in the option for you to be able to do that. Wrecked. Get wrecked, buddy. I'm too quick. Too fast. Where are you guys at? Where are you at? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. What is he hitting me with? Oh, I think he has like an Equinox or whatever that weapon's called. I don't know where he went though. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there you go. I was right. Someone just call me a coward out here. Sarah, what are you doing? What are you doing, Sarah? I think it was this person that called me a coward. And now they're dead. I don't think I remember exploring this. I think this might be a new area for me. Damn. That first weapon was not doing damage. I mean, this weapon's almost not doing damage either. One thing, dude. Throwing grenades feels so much better in this game than it doesn't fall out. Like, so much better.
feels like I actually have some kind of control. Oh. Hey, new area. Whoa, shit. I don't think I've explored this place yet. And I've beat this game multiple times. Like, multiple times. Back up. Man, these things are tough. My weapons aren't doing like anything at all to them. Dude, even the big bang's not doing much. Or at least not as much as it normally does, I'll say that. Whoa, whoa, I'm about to die. I don't have a grenade. I don't have a grenade. I don't have a grenade. I hit B to open my pit boy. There's not a pit boy. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. Give me that. I hit this thing with a gravity wave. Oh my god, it's getting back up. Dude, what is hitting me? That is chunking my health. Oh, shut up, Sarah. Don't tell me what to do. He's above me. Okay. All right. Hey, you got some credits. I didn't even want to pick that. I don't know why I just picked up seaweed. Seaweed snacks. Sarah, fight. What's that? Oh, Sarah, there's one following you. This seems familiar. Let me out. There we go. Oh, I remember this. It's a tur- Okay. Light it up, Sarah. Light it up.
Damn it, really? One more bullet. There we go. And that. I don't like the way that helmet looks. I never pick it up. I don't know why, I just don't like it. A quick save. Because I do believe I've reached the end of that area. But that's awesome. That's Starfield running at 60 FPS on a console on Xbox Series X. Like I said in the beginning, unfortunately, there is no 60 FPS option on the Series S. And I got to be honest, I don't expect that there will be one anytime soon, if at all. I, I just don't think it's possible on that system. Um, you're seeing, like, even in this video, you're seeing that even the Series X is struggling to hit 60 FPS consistently. In fact, most of the time it's not hitting 60 FPS, but it is cool that you have the option. What I would suggest though, is if you do have a VRR capable television, switch it to the 40 FPS mode, whether it's in visuals mode or performance mode, switch it to that 40 FPS mode. That's gonna be a pretty good in between 30 and 60 option so that it is smoother, but it's not as uh, jittery or laggy as the 60 FPS option can be in the more intense areas. But that is Starfield on Xbox Series X. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you tried the update since it released. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you tried the game at all, what your thoughts on Starfield are. Leave that in the comments down below. Leave a like if you like the video. And if you're enjoying this kind of content and you want to stay up to date with it going forward over here on the channel, the best way to do that is consider subscribing, consider ringing that notification bell because it helps you stay up to date with everything that happens over here on the channel. And it helps promote me in the algorithm, helps push the videos out to way more people. And I always, always, always appreciate that. And with that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.